what's going on guys today i just want to update you guys on my tornado werewolf build here um on the druid now in the last video that i posted somebody said oh but you're going into a tier zero dungeon to show off the build why don't you go into a higher tier dungeon and i get what they're saying they want to see you up against you know more powerful elites and stuff so that's what we're going to do today um the change is built has a uh, <laughs> the change is built no the build has changed a little bit since the last video the helmet's still the same because i haven't found anything um we got a little bit more damage reduction here a little bit more damage reduction down here pretty much all the aspects are still the same i still got the same gloves i'm pretty sure gave myself a little bit more movement speed with spirit cost reduction on the boots um the axe i'm pretty sure has changed i put willpower on it with critical strike damage and then i changed it from basic skill damage to core skill damage so i'm sorry if i confused you guys a little bit in that last video um you know i i guess i wasn't paying attention when i put the basic skill damage on but now we have it right it's to core skill damage i wish the numbers were a little bit higher but um this is the best roll we've been able to get so far totem is still the same got double cooldown on there don't need the basic skill damage but it's okay because everything else on this makes up for it um so yeah and then we go up to our ring and the, i've changed the ring a little bit added a little bit more maximum life um could do, go without the critical strike damage with werewolf but I, it's still helping my build so um i keep that on there got resource generation with a little bit of crit strike chance crit strike chance is a little low but um but yeah, we're looking for something a little bit better here in the future. Um, again, we got crit strike chance with crit strike damage on this. And then finally, we got a little bit of vulnerable damage. I would suggest, though, to get a little bit more vulnerable damage on your actual axe here. Um, you know, you, that damage over time could definitely go away for some vulnerable damage. Um, but yeah, it's what I could get. So when we go up to the amulet, the amulet, we got the one rank of envenom passive i want that to be three that would be awesome i gave myself a little bit more movement speed i could go without that total armor on the werewolf form for something a little bit better um like like maximum spirit or something would be way better on that but i got my cooldown reduction so i'm cool with what i got um but hopefully we can find something way better on that so that was really quick just a run through of what i'm running uh, now i think i should it to be fair I think a 43 dungeon, um, they're going to be a good, solid, I think about 10 levels, maybe 13, 10 to 13 levels higher than me um, on the monsters. So we'll see how it goes against that. In this affix, they do do um, the cold enchanting. So I will be popping a cold elixir. Where is that? I don't even see one. Do I even have one? I don't know if I even have one. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do a cold resist on my build. For right now just because of the affix that they're running because i think that's that's fair and pretty much everything else um is is what it is they got a little bit of crowd control resistance but that shouldn't affect us too much i'm hoping um and we don't do poison da damage so let's pop this first then i'm gonna pop my cold resistance and i'm gonna go into the dungeon so this is the level 43 with the werewolf tornado druid if you guys enjoy the video um i do stream every single day after work when i get home around 5 p.m so if you guys would like to see my stream it's down in the description where i pretty much do stuff just like this but on stream um and also if you do enjoy the video uh drop a like and subscribe that always helps but it's also up to you <laughs> i always say that it's always up to you guys whatever you guys want are feeling if you want to subscribe subscribe if not it is what it is let's go into this level 43 i want to see what uh what level these uh these mobs are so 97 so that's a pretty big big upgrade they're 15 levels higher than i am now with this build of course a lot of it wow they're doing a lot of poison damage um, a lot of it is towards the Grizzly Rage. And the Grizzly Rage is what's going to definitely um, help you wipe really, really quick. 
this is more of a speed farming build. Um, I would say because you could you could wipe out just crowds of people, but it's also so good against single target. Let's see, where am I going here? Over here. We're good that we're out of spirit because we pop our Grizzly Rage and we get it right back. Monster density in here doesn't look too crazy, but hopefully it gets a little bit better to show you guys. I mean, 15 levels higher. Can't ask for uh, much more. There we go. We got lucky with the shrine. Right here, when we're waiting for our cooldown on Grizzly Rage, it can be a little bit more of a pain. But then again, these monsters are 15 levels higher, so that's kind of uh, the reason why. So that a little bit more cooldown reduction is is key for this build. Maximum Spirit with, uh, with a little bit more cooldown reduction. Okay, though, sometimes you don't even need it. You just run straight through them. I will say that this build is a lot more fun than the Pulverized build. And I, I've said that in every video I've made about this build. It is way more fun. And, um, I mean, just think about it. You got a little bit of, like, an aimbot. You, you don't really have to have a crazy amount of skill to use this build. Um... But it is very fun. How did I miss one over there? And I didn't even pick it up over there. What am I doing, bro? It's okay. I'll come back around for that. But as you can see, I'm having no problem against monsters 15 levels higher. Right now, at least. And I don't think it's because I popped a cold elixir. <laughs> so. Because most of these guys are probably doing a little bit more. Uh, well, the elite's doing some some, uh, some lightning and wind. But pop our Grizzly Rage and we have no problems. Spam that, that Blood Howl. It'll up your attack speed and you'll kill him way faster. Let's see, should we go this way? Ooh. Slowing me down. Oh, did it disappear? Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, no, it didn't. We're good. Going through to the next part of the dungeon. Did I just get feared? Oh yeah, I popped out of my grizzly rage, so I lost all my uh my armor and everything I got. Feared pretty nicely right there. Like this, uh, all I'm saying about this build is it may not hit millions, but it hits them with the tornado so many times. That's what makes this build really OP. It's probably an event over here, huh? Yeah, not doing it. Even though they did just buff the XP on those on those events. There 
we go. Here's the last one. And we're done with the dungeon. Let's go kill this elite just for fun. Oh, <gasps> did I just get it? Bro, I got it within this same dungeon. There, that, there is no way that that just happened. Oh my god, the RNG right now, baby. That was awesome. I'm so glad that was in this video. That is crazy, guys. I just got my missing piece to my build within this video. All right, that is awesome. So I hope you guys were able to see how easy it was to clear this dungeon, even with the monsters being 15 levels higher. Um, I hope that cleared up any confusion with or uh you know at least gives you a little bit of an understanding of what this build is possible or what is possible with this build um so i hope you guys enjoyed that i still can't believe i just got that helmet that is insane um so if you like what you just saw please hit the subscribe button and again my twitch is down in the description i love you guys peace out